Yeah, I will talk to your doctor about it. Okay. Yeah. So that he can, uh, he can, uh, your doctor can monitor your sugar more closely. Yeah. Okay. Hi, Maddie. How are you? I'm okay. You okay? Yeah. You getting around right now with this coronavirus? Oh, yeah. I'm getting around with the virus. Yeah. <laughs> You're staying home most of the time, right? Most of the time. Oh, good, good, home. good. Yeah. So, Mary came for the nail issue. She's diabetic. She also has some wounds that opened up from the... This is called venous stasis ulcer. It's got a lot of swelling here. It makes the skin very weak and then it could break open like this one it's not infected but we need to make sure that swelling gets down and then the treat the uh, open ulcer and he also told me that you have a little pain right there huh this one yeah is that tender yeah blister yeah, yeah like a like feels like a blister right? yeah okay so we're gonna take care of the nail so you, you're telling me that your sugar gets a little bit too low right like in the morning yeah so, how much medication are you taking now for your ten, diabetes? 10 grams of glucotrol. Glucotrol? Yeah. What did your, did you tell your doctor about your sugar being too low in the morning? Where you have to... Well, I, no, I haven't told anybody. I'm telling you. Are you telling me? Okay. That's good. That's a good start. Uh, when are you seeing your doctor? Uh, I, on the 4th of May. Oh, for me, okay, that's next week, okay. So I think you need to tell your doctor about it. When your sugar goes too low in the morning, that means that you may, you're, that means you're doing well. That means your medication you're taking may have a too high of a dosage. Yeah, 10, so, 10 milligrams a day isn't really bad. Right, so. Yeah. I mean, I don't decide that for you, but I think you need to discuss that with your doctor where you may have to lower your um, dosage of your medication. Yeah. If you take too much, then it lowers your sugar too much. That's dangerous as well, right? You know that, right? Yeah. And then you have to you have to run for some orange juice or something like that, right? Because it's getting yeah, too low. Yeah, you have to get for the orange juice. I can feel it. You can feel it? You feel dizzy or how do you feel? No, you feel it in your chest. Oh, it's feeling in the chest? Yeah, you know it's fixing to go low. So how does it feel like? It feels funny. Don't it feel funny? Yeah. It really feels bad though. It, it's not too bad because I get it before. Uh -huh. you, you feel know? it You feel it coming? I know when it comes, yeah. 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 And then you have to run for the some well, orange I go, juice? I go to the refrigerator and get some orange juice. Mm -hmm. and put some sugar in it to bring it up. Uh -huh. you know, and then yeah. that, that makes it better? It makes it better in a little while, yeah. So do you have to take your morning dosage of the medication then? I take it later, yeah. 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 If it's that low, you shouldn't take the medicine because I that's going to... I check my sugar and mm -hmm. see what it is before I take it. Okay. Yeah. So what is it uh, lately in the morning? about seven something in the morning uh -huh. after I cleaned myself up and washed and brushed my teeth and stuff and I got it. By the time I got to the chair to sit down, I could feel it. So I just kept going to the refrigerator. Mm -hmm. And I got the juice, I took it, mm -hmm. I put some sugar in it, and I drank it real fast. Mm -hmm. And I felt better. And then what, what happened? Uh, did you check your sugar? Level? It, it, I took it later. I couldn't get it then because it was too low. Oh, really? It didn't even show? No. Really? I, could, I couldn't get the blood out my finger. Oh, is that right? <laughs> no blood? No blood. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. How, how often does that happen? Well, it doesn't happen often. Mm -hmm. No. So how often do you take the medicine? You just take it in the morning? In the morning. Mm -hmm. You don't take it in the evening? No. Mm -hmm. Take it once a day. Just once a day, huh? Yeah. Ah. Usually your sugar goes up in the morning, actually. It's the opposite. Huh? Usually your sugar goes up in the morning. 
You go sugar goes higher in the morning usually. It does. Yeah, because your body produces what we call cortisol uh -huh. to get up and start moving and things, so which is a stress hormone. Usually, the, my sugar is down in the morning. Really? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So it's that's not normal. So I'm having sugar ain't normal either. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So I think you need to talk to your doctor about the situation. May he may have to modify the amount of medication or the time you take the medicine. There's yeah. something else has to be done, okay? Yeah. Because I don't want I don't want you feeling like that in the morning, right? Yeah, I don't want to feel like that in the morning either. I know. Yeah, that's, I don't that's... usually get it too often. That was the first time. Really? Yeah. 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 I would uh, talk to your doctor about it. A long it. time. Yeah. yeah. So that he can, uh, he can, uh, your doctor can monitor your sugar more closely. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And tell me about uh, your your opening right here. There's an opening right here. You see that? Is that is that painful? No. How often does that open up like that? A blister got on my leg. You know, we put the uh, pump on. Uh huh. Oh, you have the pump. Yeah. Okay. And the pump, I guess, you know, was too tight. Uh, some, and it stayed too long, maybe. I don't know. Uh huh. But then I got a blister. Oh, I see. Yeah. When do you do the pumping? You're talking about the venous stasis pump, right? Right. Okay. You've had that for, for a while. Yeah. Okay. So that's been helping you, right? To getting the swelling out? I hope so. Yeah, it does. So when do you do that? In the morning? Or? Evening. Oh, in you do in the evening. evening. Oh, okay. Yeah. That feels good, huh? Like a massage. Yeah, it's a massage. Ah, I want one of those machines. Okay, I'll give yeah. you, I'll hold you mine. <laughs> Thank you. You're so generous. <laughs> but you need to continue using the machine. I'm going to put some medication here. Uh -huh. I think you need some uh, compression stocking. So uh -huh. I'm going to recommend you where to go get the compression stocking. You should wear it during the day. Okay. And continue using the pump for for these because you got a lot of um, okay. swelling here. That's what's causing the skin to be really weakened, yeah. and it can open up with a little bit of uh, pressure. Okay. Yeah, I need to get it clean. Yeah, yeah. I'll clean it up and uh, bandage that up for you. Okay, okay. today. Okay, very good. I'm going to put some medication over here. Okay, thank you. I'm gonna uh, give you a recommendation where to get the uh, compression stockings. Okay. So it's, it's draining a little, so. 
with some antibiotic cream on it. This one's a little bit tender too, huh? You yeah. Saying? That um, one's not open though. Yeah, I know. Yeah, so that's good. Yeah. And then you put the compression stockings during the day and use the pump uh, every night, okay? Okay. And if it uh, opens up and it started oozing more and then gets red, you come back see me right away, okay? Okay. I don't want any trouble with you. Right. Right? I know you're a good patient, but <laughs> we don't want any trouble. Right. That uh, toenail got a lot of white in it. Yeah, I'll clean that up a little bit, too. Yeah. Is that better? Okay. Okay, Mary. Thank you for allowing me to film this today. You have okay. a good day. Okay. We'll see okay. you next time. Take All care. Right.